Good morning. We're here in Wapton, North Dakota at the Senex. Nice truck stop. Very nice. We're going to go pick up our load and head back home. I wasn't for certain where I was picking up. I guess the message didn't come through here yesterday or something. But I just uh, messaged in and said, hey, just need a little bit of info on that load I'm picking up. And uh, got sent through again. So now we have all the details. We know where we're going. We know where we got to pick up. We know what it is. We have a pickup number. Let's go get it. Well, we're all tied down. We're ready to go. Just three rolls, that's it. Taking it back up to Manitoba. One hundred and eight U.S. gallons today. Mark that down in here. One hundred and eight point zero zero three gallons, to be exact. How much was it again? Four hundred and twenty-six dollars and fifty cents before discounts that come later. Uh, Four hundred and twenty-six fifty. That's USD. Now I go in 108.003 U.S. gallons to liters. 408.836 liters. 408.836 liters. Okay. Uh, and then I go 426.50 USD to CAD. Oops, it didn't put that in there right. I was going to type it in because voice to text never works. What did I say? 400 and... You know what? My app will do this for me. I don't know why I'm putting myself through that. So I filled up here for 408.836 liters with the price conversion to Canadian that is $1.40 per liter. 
price here in the U.S. is three dollars and ninety-five cents per U.S. gallon. U.S. So it costed me five hundred and seventy-three sixty Canadian. Five hundred and seventy-three sixty Canadian. And I drove eleven hundred and fifty-four kilometers since my last fuel up, which equals. Bear with me here, I'm doing my math. 35.43 liters per 100 kilometers. 35.43 liters per 100 kilometers. One second here, let me get this started up. 35.43 liters per 100 kilometers in US miles per gallon. 35.43 liters per 100 kilometers is equal to 6.639 miles per gallon. 6.64 miles per gallon. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so I paid $1.40 Canadian per liter here. Just up north of the border, let's check what the price is there. Do you guys do this too when you fuel up? Do you do all the math, make sure you're getting the best bargain, the best bang for your buck? Literal, it's a combustion bang inside the engine. Every bang of the cylinder. You want to get the best bang for your buck. One second, it's loading here. Okay, so just up the road in Canada, it's $1.66 per liter. Okay, now to make sure we get this right, that's $1.66 subtract $1.40. Save 26 cents per liter. How many liters did I buy? You remember? times 408.836. I saved $106.30 Canadian by filling here instead of half hour down the road in Canada. Best bang for your buck in this region. I could have gotten a better price down in Fargo, but well, you can't win them all. Let's get going. 100 meters, slide left on I 29. We're here in Pembina. Load still isn't cleared, so we're gonna find a good parking spot and wait. to the right. What entrance to the right? What are you talking about, Karen? Are you drunk? It's the middle of the week. And middle of the day. So it's three o'clock and I guess it's not so bad, but still, middle of the week. Calm down. Rain, rain, and more rain. I'll take it. I'll take it over the snow any day. So much better. Rain is just, you can just dry yourself off and the weather is still nice afterwards. Whereas with snow, you dry yourself off and then you freeze your butt off after. I'll take it. So we got our clearance for the border just now. Let's put it in gear, let's get across to the Canadian side. I won't be able to get unloaded today now because of this. Ah, it took too long to, uh, to get clearance, but they will unload me at 8.30 tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna go straight to the customer there. We're gonna sleep right there and wait for morning.
more smoky as we come into Manitoba. I can like taste the smoke. It smells like a bonfire. We got maybe a mile visibility and it's getting worse. Over here at Carmen, looks like they finished all their construction that they were working on last time I was here. And can you see that? Like how the camera picking it up in the distance there? Like you can see the smoke. Okay, you can definitely see that smoke, right? Look over here. Let's roll a little bit down so you can see. Look, way out there on the horizon, see? Right there. Those grain bins are less than a mile away. You can hardly see them from here. And that building, those buildings right there, what? Less than half a mile? Half a mile? Not even? It smells like bonfire out here. Very hazy. Oh, man. I'm tired. Look at me. What is this? Oh. My face is red. I'm getting a little hot today. I wonder if that's sunburn? No, that wasn't there before. I'm just really tired and it's really hot. That's why I had the truck idling. I needed to have the air conditioning running for a bit because I'm just cooking in here. Ah, oh, cooking and this uh, smoky atmosphere. It's not hot because of that. There's forest fires burning. Uh, about a thousand miles west of me, or 1,500 kilometers west of me in Alberta. I'm in southern Manitoba right now, and the smoke is all the way out here. It's crazy. I noticed the smoke way down in the U.S. too already. It's They must be pretty bad again. Every year we get these forest fires, right? Every year. I hope everybody's okay out there. If you know anyone who's affected, uh, let them know we're thinking about them. And let's all do everything we can to help them out. I can't imagine having everything lost to a fire. <sighs> Anyways, let's keep them in our thoughts, our minds. And we'll continue doing what we got to do to keep the economy rolling, right? We'll keep doing our work and keeping the ball rolling over here. And before you guys know it, you'll be back on your feet really hope so. So thanks for watching today everybody. As you can tell I'm tired. I'm a little warm now. I'm gonna have to cool down this cab a little bit more. I'm not quite used to this these hot temperatures yet but <laughs> this isn't even that hot. It's like 27 degrees out which is probably like 85 Fahrenheit. It's not even that hot but for me a Canadian in Manitoba this is hot. My body's not used to this. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching today. Uh, tomorrow the plan is to deliver my freight just around the corner over here and then uh, go and switch trailers in the yard, grab another trailer, go to Kenora, grab some freight there and go back down to Minnesota and then come home from there. So we've got a little bit of a rounder to do yet. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.